welcome to today's video. A bit different, not in Lycra. I'm on a very different bike. It's a single speed bike. Let me tell you more. I'm on a different bike. One you haven't seen before. So I'm on the single speed town bike, shopping bike, pub bike, call it what you will. The 40 quid bike, that's what I'm on. I don't know why, because I'm a long way away from one, but look and smell is Chinese, Chinese takeaway. I've just had my tea, but it's making me hungry. So I don't actually use this bike, oh, I haven't used it, as much as I could do. So one of the plans for this summer is to actually use it a little bit more. And one of the reasons I didn't use it, because the brakes were just shite. So now it's got some decent brakes on it. Oop, just tested them. So now it's got some decent brakes on it, I should probably be inclined to use it a little bit more. So one of the beauties of a, a bike like this is just simplicity, no gears to worry about, just lubricate the chain, keep the brakes clean, it's good to go, just hop on it and go. So this is a bike that I bought a couple of years ago on a bit of a whim, a friend of mine was selling it, wanted a whole £40 for it. I have actually just recently changed the brakes. Uh, which I'd just done this weekend because the brakes actually were just virtually non-existent. They were rubbish, didn't really work. So what I've actually done, I've replaced the existing vintage brakes with these Tektro um, R539 brakes. Front and rear, <coughs> replaced both. And they were very kindly sent to me about five years ago by Planet X. And uh, it's a picking hour. I actually built a bike out of components and I ordered a whole load of stuff and for some reason they, they duplicated the brakes. Sent me two complete sets. Don't know why. Only charged me for one but <sighs> I suppose I should have told them really but so the seat is a, a form seat. It's got superstar grips. It's got these new levers which came from Amazon. A whole 12 95 for a pair and they've got a very weird action. Check those out. They work in a slightly unusual way. It was Mike Wheeler actually put me on to those and they work really well. They, they uh, are suitable for this kind of caliper. <coughs> so the bike itself is a uh, 500, Reynolds 500 chromo tube. So I don't actually know how old the bike is. I will try and find out um, at some point. It came from James Cycles, who were in Alford, Lincolnshire, by that sticker. So I don't know if they're still there actually, I should have a look. So you can see the tubing is actually quite thin, and it isn't actually, considering it's steel, it's not actually very heavy. So it was built up out of bits, it's got this funky little short, straight handlebar set on it had a new free wheel fitted to it at the back here um, I know somebody is going to ask me what the gearing ratio is and to be honest I don't know I did know but I can't remember I will try and check it out count it when I get home and I'll pop it I'll pop it in the description that might be wise might it had these new mud guards fitted to it I say other than the brakes if the brakes actually worked it would have been a really nice bike as it was but as I say, I had already had the calipers. I believe it cost me a whole 12.95. So the whole bike still stands me only 50, 53 pounds. That fella there, waiting for his fruit to dry. So now I've got a few 
viewers that definitely ride single speed and I'm interested in the comments below why do you ride single speed? why not gears? I know we've got a couple of guys that ride single speed on long journeys not just into town where I'm riding this one So just for uh, that quick sort of ride, I would definitely, definitely recommend this kind of bike. Nice if you're out of the family, going somewhere into town or whatever. Like I say, you can pick up this style of bike really cheaply. I know the guy I bought it off, he, he made it up basically out of a few bits and bobs that were lying around. And that's the beauty. I was touched on with Mark from Cafe Alley the other week. That was it in the context of road bikes that you're riding in a fair distance on but you can still get all the pleasure of riding a bike and not using your car etc just nipping into town with a bike like this You know if you do need to nip into town to run an errand or whatever you can just nip out on this lock it up somewhere if somebody does decide to steal it in this case it's 50 odd quid not to say you, you wanted to get a stolen but it's much better than a thousand or a two thousand pound bike and obviously the bulk of bikes are probably going to be stolen by kids teenagers and it's probably not the style of bike they're going to choose if they can pick a mountain bike or something then they will do so it's an ideal bike for like nipping as i am now nipping into down to sainsbury's got in that general direction going along the river mixture of hard track and tarmac it's actually got 23 mil tires on it which is they're quite thin when you've been riding chunky tires you forget just how thin 23 actually is if you go back a few years 23 was everything amazing how times change isn't it so obviously being a single speed a lot of this is about choice of gear ratio on single speed and this is just what it is when i got it new tarmac I do like a bit of nice new tarmac so this bike uh, whizzes along on its 23 mil tires once you're underway it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit slow to get going once you're underway just picks up speed just rides along really smoothly although they're obviously going to be very old wheels the bearings are great <laughs> the wheels spin lovely and it feels really really smooth and I think because the chains only going in one line you haven't got a derailleur it's, it's just really easy, it's really smooth, it's amazing really and I, every time I ride it, I do really enjoy riding it and last year, some of you may remember, I was, if you've been a long time viewer I was doing some work at, at Sigma Sports and I used, I used this quite a few times for commuting in and yeah, perfect, just get on it, ride it there, dead easy no gears to change, no nothing, just smooth, quick it was a joy really it's quite nice every once in a while just to ride a bike like this because you don't have to go fast i've got no got no wahoo or garmin on it if you want to carry that stick in your pocket just nip to town nip to the pub nip to the shops wherever you want to go oh yeah one more thing with this bike got flat pedals so whatever shoes you're wearing, straight on. No need to wear specific cycling shoes. Mm. The other thing, because you're not wearing specific cycle gear necessarily other than your helmet and gloves, it kind of encourages you to ride in a chilled, slow way. 
you're not in a rush, rush to get anywhere, you've got no speed to do, probably got some shopping in a rucksack on your back. So yeah, just the pleasures of cycling, you can't go wrong really, can you? So I'll be interested to hear what you guys have got for your pub bike or shop bike, call it what you will. What do you guys use? That cheap little bike just to get around somewhere. Drop a comment below. Let us know what you got. Thanks as always for watching. See you again in a few days time. Normal service will be resumed. See you soon. Bye.